Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. Brought to you by Wholesale Holiday Lighting by Giannini, your complete holiday lighting specialist, meeting all your decorating needs. And they're at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst, 631-957-5106. And the website is liholidaylighting.com. And brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware, where mulch, topsoil, gravel, and anything else uh, you need to get your yard in order. They've got it in and big time. Uh, 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, 631-756-1125. The best prices in town. OmniTrueValue.com is the website. And always remember, it's a good idea to support local businesses. Well, we've got the first round of precipitation, uh, rain showers that are approaching. The, the area is not the most impressive looking in, in the world. Uh, it is a little stronger down in Virginia where we see a little bit of a squall line that's developed there and uh, also down through parts of Alabama and snaking down through southern Georgia where we have a rather impressive looking line of showers and storms that has formed during this afternoon in the Storm Prediction Center Bringing a marginal risk up, they actually had this up to southern New Jersey uh, earlier today, but they've pulled it back southward to uh, the, Del the lower part of the Delmarva Peninsula, and then the slight risk that runs from eastern North Carolina right down to the uh, Alabama-Mississippi Gulf Coast with marginal risk surrounding that. And as we look uh, for over the next couple of days, uh, really hardly any thunderstorm activity to speak of on uh, Friday, uh, on uh, Thursday and into Friday, and no thunderstorms are forecast for Friday. And for the uh, holiday weekend, potential for severe weather across the U.S., uh, uh, low on days four and five, and going into next week, predictability is uh, low, which means pr more than uh, likely there'll be some severe weather. They just haven't quite figured out uh, exactly where. Here's our satellite view. A lot of clouds here sweeping up. Now, we're get, getting rain from this front, but back up through the northern Great Lakes, uh, there's energy that's dropping southward. This upper trough is, is sharpening up. So what will happen is these showers will play through. There'll be a break, and then we'll get into a period of rain late tonight into Thursday morning, and that is also going to be in the form of snow well up to the north and west. You start going well north of, say, Route 84. I think that's where you stand the best chances to see some uh, accumulating snow. Uh, WPC <clears throat> uh, has a large area running from northern Pennsylvania northeastward into northeastern New York with a high probability of at least two inches. And that also extends up into northwestern Vermont. Uh, if we change it to four inches, uh, the light blue is a 50% or greater chance. Uh, this was their latest forecast issued uh, late this morning. And uh, you see high probabilities in Northeast New York. And I wouldn't be surprised if some places in the Adirondacks, for example, particularly say up over 1,500 feet or 2,000 feet, are going to wind up with a foot of snow. This is a hot, rather a 50% probability of at least eight. So WPC kind of bullish here on potential for snow uh, in uh, the interior Northeast. And as far as rainfall is concerned, based on their latest forecast, of course, um, we uh, are seeing this precip here is all going to be front end loaded with our system tonight and Thursday. They've kind of cut back on the precip amounts. Some of the areas to the west have already seen some. Areas to the east have not. But it looks like they kind of chopped it back to about three quarters of an inch to maybe an inch uh, at most. Uh, from Long Island on up north and east. And then when you go from, say, northern New Jersey and western New Jersey, south and west, we're looking at a quarter to a half an inch of uh, total liquid precipitation. So um, this is it as far as rain is concerned. And then we can move on to the weekend. But uh, the issue is going to be this strengthening low, which tomorrow morning is sitting just southeast of Atlantic City. You see a change over to snow that's occurring well to the west. You see that first batch of rain goes out. And there's kind of like that donut hole there. And then you have this second batch. And that's the upper trough that is swinging through, generating that. And the load in, starts to strengthen. And behind it, 
is some very cold air. And also, uh, the, the wind machine's coming back on uh, later Thursday into Friday. But the gradient, while tight, is not super tight. So I'm thinking that we will probably not see wind advisories. I could be wrong. But I'm thinking that uh, we're going to be just below criteria for wind advisories as that high starts to build in. So the bigger story for Thursday night into Friday morning uh, will be the temperatures. Just very quickly, uh, the snowfall amounts, the snowfall totals out of this uh, from the local weather service offices, they've kind of cut back a little bit uh, in parts of central New York, going four for Rochester. They were going for almost 10 in Syracuse. Now they've kind of cut it back uh, to about four to six. And then you see some of the bigger amounts. Uh, that pop up again this will be elevation driven uh, in the Adirondacks so back to our weather here it's the bigger story is going to be the temperatures and we're going to be down in the 20s Friday morning with uh, a 20 to 35 mile 20 to 35 mile an hour wind gusts which is going to make it feel like it's down in the teens and these daytime highs are more average for say late in February and not for the very beginning of April looking at highs on Friday that will be only in the upper 30s and low 40s. The weekend, we will see temperatures rebound, and that should take us back up into the 50s on Saturday. Uh, we will have some sunshine and then some arriving clouds. It's a little bit cooler as you go north in upstate New York, a little bit warmer as you head south and west toward Washington and Baltimore. And then on Sunday, uh, which I think will probably be certainly be the warmer of the two weekend days, uh, we will see temperatures reaching up into the low and mid 60s, uh, except for, of course, some east and south facing shoreline. So at least we're going to see some temperature recovery here. And then uh, watching this high, it moves on out off the coast. There's a little upper trough slash warm front that comes through uh, during Saturday evening. I threw in the chance that there could be a light rain shower or two Saturday night into early Sunday morning. See that the GFS kind of has a few little uh, patches there it really doesn't amount to much and uh, while we may start Easter Sunday with clouds we should go to some uh, go to sunshine or at least partly sunny skies watch the low near Nova Scotia that's actually moving west and southwest uh, because we do have a blocking pattern setting up and as a result of that we're going to have to watch for the possibility that not so much on Monday a um, little trough there kind of swings southward but maybe uh, on Tuesday, we might have uh, a couple of showers scattered around uh, due to the fact that we have this blocking pattern and this low pressure to the east and a disturbance that is dropping down from the north. This will keep a cap on temperatures for the first part of next week. Weather in 5 brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware as they have every, everybody busy moving mulch along. Uh, obviously, this was not today. Uh, with the blue skies and the sun in the background, but uh, you get the idea. Lots and lots of mulch, all different colors, whatever you need for your landscaping. 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, 631-756-1125, the website omnitruevalue.com. And Wholesale Holiday Lighting by Giannini, your complete holiday lighting specialist. It may be, it may be a little bit too early for Christmas. I know it's just Easter, but they have everything you need. Uh, for your holiday decorating needs, or maybe you want to contact them because you want to do this as a business come the fall. Uh, they're at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst, 631 957 5106. The website is liholidaylighting.com. So keep an eye on the radar as we go into uh, tonight and into tomorrow morning as we deal with this rain. Uh, the Joe and Joe show tonight at 7.30 Eastern time. And after tonight, we're going to take a few days off and probably not won't be back until next Monday. So be sure to tune in at 7.30 Eastern time.